I discovered how to make the most realistic maca. Welcome to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Felicia Messadu. I am a creative and designer based in Houston, Texas. I work for a startup tech company in the aesthetic space, and here on my channel, I love to talk about design and life. I love documenting my experiences as I level up as a designer within my skill set. I level up in my career and ultimately level up in my life. So if that sounds like something we have in common, look no further. This channel is the place to be. Today, you and I will be designing. Come here, come closer, just a little bit closer. Just, just a little bit closer. I discovered how to make the most realistic maca. No, 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 seriously. So realistic. I'm all too excited to design with you today and I'm ready to share the wealth, so let's get into it. Now, I have been working on this Green project. It is a conceptual design project that I've been working on since 1942. It's getting done. Seriously, the project is getting done. It's coming along and that's what's most important. We are wrapping it up. We're almost at the finish line. This is what we're going to be creating today. As you can see, the logo blends in with the fabric. It's like melted into the fabric perfectly. And how I was able to make it look so realistic was by adding this crackle texture on top of it. And that is what makes it look even more real because traditionally that is how a logo looks when it's placed onto fabric. It has that type of texture, like it's been melted into the fabric. It just looks so real. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve this today in Photoshop. I think that it's so helpful for designers. It's just something to have in your toolkit. I mean, it just changed my life. So first things first, you do wanna start with a good mock-up PSD file or a good quality image that you can turn into a, a mock-up PSD file. I did purchase this mock-up from Rob Pixels along with several other mock-ups. I went ahead and just got a membership and I was able to find some really good mock-ups for my plant shop concept without having to search high and low. I feel like when you are looking on free websites, you have to do a bit more digging. But I do just wanna say that you can also find some free resources for mock-ups. There are several websites. It might take a little longer to find what you are looking for, but there are definitely free options. So I just wanna plug that in there. Just do your due diligence when you are looking for these free mock-ups and you will eventually find your prize. logo looks like without being blended into the sack and that's just the sack without the logo okay so what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to convert this to a smart object and I want this logo to have a little bit of movement. So I'm just gonna make sure it's right in the center. I'm gonna place it right about here. And then I'm gonna warp it just a little bit so it has a little bit of movement with the sack. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, that looks really good. I'm just making sure it's centered. That looks that looks really good to me. Okay. 
So I'm gonna hit the check mark at the top. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go to the blend mode. And to make this look even more realistic, we're gonna blend this into the fabric. And we're gonna hit multiply, and that's gonna blend the fabric, the logo into the fabric. It literally looks like it's in the fabric. Like it was, the fabric already had verdigreen in it and they just sewed this into a sack. That's what it looks like. That's if you wanted to change the color, but we don't wanna change that to purple. So we're gonna keep it at green. This works perfectly with this uh, technique if the background is white. I was looking at a video where it said that if the background wasn't white, then it would be harder to multiply it in just using the blend mode of multiply. So good thing that we're using a white background. Now to make this look even more realistic, I'm gonna wanna add some texture and that's really gonna make it pop. It's gonna give it that really authentic look. Okay, so I'm bringing in this Crackle Texture Grunge Distressed Photo. And I just downloaded this online somewhere. I think I just typed in texture and then this came up. So I'm gonna use this and this will be one of the layers. Okay, so now we're gonna work with this Crackle Grunge Distressed Texture. I'm going to select all and you can hit Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC. And then I'm gonna to go to edit and choose define brush preset. You can name the brush. I'm just gonna leave it and then click OK. My cursor has turned into a brush. You can see as I'm moving it around. It's now a brush. Now I'm gonna go back to the little sack. Change this, rename this to logo A. I'm going to duplicate the layer. And then that'll be logo um, A copy. So let's place logo A on top of logo A copy. Select both layers, Command G those two. Um, just drill down so now we can see logo A and then logo A copy. And then what, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to log, um, select logo A and then I'll go to layer, layer mask, reveal all. I'll do the same for logo A copy. I'm gonna go to windows next and make sure brushes is selected. I do see that it is. We have my brushes panel pulled up. I'm gonna make sure that um, what I what I want to do is basically paint over this first layer mask thumbnail with the crackle texture grunge distress brush that I made. So we're gonna use that texture, but first I want to make sure that the uh, color fill and the edit tool toolbar is black, and I do see that it's black. So now I'm just going to take. I'm gonna select the texture brush that I just selected, and I'm gonna select the layer thumb, the layer mask thumbnail. I'm selecting the layer mask thumbnail from logo A. And basically I'm just gonna stamp it so I can get that texture. And that gives it 
that really nice crackle scaled texture. If I wanted to add just a little bit more texture on there, I will. Uh, and I'm going to increase the texture just a tad bit by hitting my bracket, right bracket, just so the texture fills the whole logo. And I just added a little bit more texture on top. And that is how you create a realistic, authentic looking mock-up when you wanna add some texture to a logo, specifically on fabric or t-shirt. That wraps up this video. I hope you were able to learn something new and apply these tips to your next design mock-up. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.